I'm Ariane Arambir with your Fastcast Digital Headlines for this Monday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we are following. Developing news out of Wrangell, where another body has been recovered after last week's deadly landslide. Tim Despain, a spokesperson for the Alaska State Troopers, says a scent detection canine indicated a specific area Saturday night, which then prompted an Alaska Department of Transportation excavator to assist in the recovery of the body of 11-year-old Kara Heller. During the search, crews with the Alaska DOT and public facilities worked to remove Moved debris from the Zimovia Highway and cleared one lane that's been blocked since the landslide tore down a mountainside in the fishing community on an island south of Juneau. Material that we moved was about 3,500 cubic yards of material off the road. We did have some damage in the north on the northern section, but it was limited to that northern section. Uh, for the most part, the the asphalt is intact. So uh, we'll be uh, as we move forward, you know, seeing what we can do to repair that section. McCarthy says the first people allowed through today will be a local utility that will help restore power to the southern side of the highway. Well, more than 71 million Americans are expected to shop today's Cyber Monday sales. That is according to the National Retail Federation. Consumers are expected to spend over $270 billion in online and other non-store purchases this holiday season. Cyber Monday is the second most popular shopping day behind Black Friday of the Thanksgiving holiday. And don't forget to check out the dazzling display spanning the entire length of the Alaska State Fairgrounds synced to holiday music. With more than 70 unique attractions, Bright Up the Night is open from 5 to 9, Thursdays through Sundays until December 10th, and every night from December 14th through the end of the year. Tickets are $20 for a standard size vehicle and $35 for vans. And those are your FastCast digital headlines for this Monday. I'm Arianne Arambiro. Have a great day and thanks for watching.